This object is a Japanese norimono or palanquin. It's a type of sedan chair. It was quite a complicated object to treat, partly because of the number of materials involved, from Yurushi, Japanese lacquer, um, to the gilt copper sections, which you can see kind of um, inlaid all over the surface, and the actual wooden components that make up the object as well. Um, so each different material had to be treated as a separate component and had to actually be be cleaned completely separately as well um, because some of the materials that we were using to clean maybe the metals might react with the lacquer um, to, to cause blooming across the surface and to cause damage which of course we didn't want to do. So a lot of the work was actually done under magnified lighting and so that we could actually get right in and make sure that everything that we were treating was, was treated as, as carefully and as well as we possibly could. All of the materials that we used were completely reversible in that we could we could remove them easily and they weren't going to cause damage. Um, here you can see one of our paper conservators who worked with me treating the inside of the palanquin, um, Norimono, and she was trying to repair all of the tears and put strips of Japanese paper behind to actually support and, and just consolidate the areas where damage had occurred over time. Um, and this all pulled it all together and then she could then consolidate flaking paint areas. Before the object was ready to go on a gallery, it sat in the store for a couple of days, so therefore we covered it with, with um, acid-free tissue paper to make sure that it was dust-free and in absolute perfect condition to go onto the gallery. This is the gallery space at the Lane Art Gallery where the Japanese Norimono was actually put onto display. The black block that you can see in front of you is where it was going to sit for the duration of the exhibition. And again, in working in teams, we just ensured that everything was exactly right and that everyone knew exactly what they were doing as the object was moved. The base itself that it was being moved onto is was almost exactly the right size for the palanquin to sit on and almost appear to be floating as the curator intended. With this in mind, it meant that we had to be exact as well in actually placing it onto the, onto the display plinth. Um, and as the palanquin itself is very, very lightweight, as you might be able to have seen there, wobbles a lot, um, we had to again just make sure that it was completely balanced so that nothing was going to affect it when the doors were maybe opened. Um, so that everything was just completely stable and as, as safe as we could possibly make it for the duration of the exhibition. Putting the pole into position was actually slightly more complicated than, than you might first think. There are brackets on the top that the pole has to sit into very precisely, um, which keeps it obviously very safe and stable, but it, over time the wood on the pole has contorted slightly, which means that it doesn't fit quite as perfectly as you'd as it would have done originally, which makes it slightly harder to close the brackets. Now, everything that we did, we did just gently and made sure that the, the, the pole itself was not suffering and that nothing was cracking or being put under pressure during the actual process of closing the brackets. And in, again, in opening the doors themselves, this is actually this puts a lot of pressure onto the lacquer of around the doors. So everything had to just be done very, very carefully and slowly, and and just making sure that everything was as stable as it could be. And this is the Japanese Norimono on display in the Lane Art Gallery.